What up, Jit Beats? Jit, um, BB Records, Yoruba Records, Use Wax, um, producer, songwriter. Um, worked with some great artists like uh, Sean Price, Raekwon, uh, AZ, Shabam Sadiq, BD, um, B White, the 58s, uh, and the list goes on, you know. Hubs. Well, and you, we spoke earlier, I got to hear your beats dope as hell. Everybody, you, I suggest you check them out. Uh, the raw, gritty shit that the underground is known for, and the tradition of true hip hop, in my opinion. Um, coming out to a show, I know you say you don't usually do this up here. Joey, the cat who's throwing these, is trying to bring together real artists, you know, in the tradition of real hip hop. Um, where do you see, and I'm talking about mainstream versus the underground, where do you see the state of hip hop right now? Oh, I mean, the underground, the underground hip hop to me is. It's a lifestyle. You know what I mean? I mean, the guys who went into underground hip hop, they're not really concerned about what's going on in the mainstream. Like me, I don't really care. I, don't, I could give two fucks about what the mainstream's doing, you know? And, and that's not hating on the mainstream, but that's not what I do. You know what I mean? Um, I say, I always live by this phrase it's a lifestyle. We gotta live it in order for it to be believable. You know what I mean? So, I mean, for me, it's just like I just do what I do, man. Like, when I make music, I don't just say, yo, I'm gonna make a commercial track or underground track. I just make music. It could be some rock shit or hip hop shit or dance, whatever. You know what I mean? It could be whatever. I just, I just go with my soul and my gut and I just make music. You now, know what I mean? as an artist who's a, a lyricist, I know I can say that a, a, a real good producer lays a backdrop and gives a feeling. Uh, M said that one. Uh, I don't, I'm not crazy. I just do what the beats say do on the track with uh, Royce the Five Nine. And I always love that line because it's so Which one, true. Scary one? Was that scary? Uh, I think it was with Method Man and M and Royce the Five Nine. Was it, was it recent? Uh, it was uh, ten years ago. Oh okay, yeah. And what it was was it, they basically are saying I ain't crazy. I just do what the beats say do, which is absolutely true. Uh, speaking from an artist standpoint, a good beat, a good backdrop creates an atmosphere and it's the uh, lyricist's job to correlate that to 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 you know redirect the audience and give it attention now there's a lot of things going on in the world today that true MCs would relate to uh, and get that to their audience what do you see happening that's important that conscious music should be relaying. Like, what's going on in the world that you see that's that's important for the youth? Because that's always the audience. I mean, I've I've always felt like um the truth will reveal itself. You know what I mean? Like, if you're uh, there's some crazy shit going on right now over here, and it's all drama. And, but whatever. We're trying not to be distracted. We're keeping it up here. Yeah, no doubt. But um, but I mean, yeah. But uh, I mean, anytime, like, like you know, you know, what's funny. People always ask me. Cause, I'm also a writer and, you know, I'm a producer, I make beats, but you know, a lot of people that just do beats, but I just try to structure a song, you know what I mean? I don't just right. make beats. I don't just give someone a beat because I like the structure of a song with a hook and, you know what I mean? It, and that's certainly not all the time it's got to be a hook, but I, li I like a good song with a good message. Right. And to me, a good a good song is a good song. It doesn't it doesn't have to be commercial or under. A good song, I mean, Eminem was, he was an underground rapper. That's right. You know what I mean? And I, I'm just bringing up Eminem because Eminem was, he was a straight lyricist battling MC and he made it really far. That's mm -hmm. why I'm bringing him up. And he actually, in my opinion, has brought it full circle. It's going back to the straight lyricism, but you got to admire him for There ain't no one who puts words better together than this guy. I got, you know, I've been he's, rhyming he's for 15 years. You got to, yeah, Absolutely. you know, you got to give him his due. Um, but one thing that my one reservation with him, which is my own personal opinion, it doesn't mean it's right, but I feel that with great power comes responsibility. And in my personal opinion, there are huge uh, issues in our world going on, in our country, and uh, MCs have been the voice of their generation, and true artists should be the ones relaying this, because this shit that's important for people to be digging, not what the commercial music is telling them, which is basically, you know, tune out, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, worship wealth that you'll never see, you know, while you're actually living this life, you worship 
a guy who lives a life you could never, and nine times out of ten, they don't even live that life, but they have people chasing the dollar. Whereas in the underground, it's more true to lyricism. It doesn't matter about the commodities and the commercialness. Uh, and my personal thing is an artist that that relays them consciousness, that's all that matters to me. Um, do you see uh, a resurgence in that in the underground? Because you, you've worked with greats who definitely have that consciousness. Do you think it's important that people come together behind that kind of music? I mean, any. Man, anytime artists can bring music to another, this is all about bringing music to another level. You know what I mean? It, even the underground, like if you're just gonna keep it like here and not try to take it here, you're limiting yourself. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you gotta, you just gotta make good music, man. I know mean, it's, um, it's great. But for me, it's just like just make good music, man. For me, it's all about the music. Absolutely. So, I'm not concerned about what this guy's doing and what that guy's doing. Just to me, it's all about the music. But as far as like Eminem, he's not the same guy he was. That's true. He's rich. He's a millionaire. So Billion, you, know, a million. you know what I mean? Well, and I'm not dissing him. I love him. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. But he's not. He was down here. Now he's up here living in a mansion. Before, when you're living in the hood and you got and you're you're rock bottom, like he said in his songs. There's no other way but up. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's that whole lifestyle where you're hungry, you know? It, it, people always say to me, yo, what music influences you? It ain't gotta be music. Motherfucking life influences me, man. This shit right here influences me. This guy filming you. This discussion just the way it is right now, you know what I mean? True consciousness. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just about, I mean, a lot of people say, you, you know, just like a producer, like, I try to think out the realm, you know what I mean? I try to, like I said, I try to take it to another level because without taking it to another level, there's no growth. And music is just like life. It's growth. Absolutely. There's no growth. And as you get older, you're supposed to grow. If you don't grow when you stay at one label, right. level, it's that insanity thing where you're doing your same shit right. over Einstein. and over and over. That's what you know, Einstein you, said. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't want that, you know? But it's a lifestyle, man. You know, as well as I know, we live what we do and we love what we do. And to me, that's all that matters, man. Support independent music and conscious hip hop. Uh, thank you. Yo, check check me out at uh, jitbeats.com, uh, SoundCloud, Jit Beats, everything. Twitter, Jit Beats, just jitbeats.com and my videos and everything. I'm co signing on this right now. This is the dope oh! producer right now. This is the dopest Dude. fucking producer, Jit right, Beats. Brother. You're going to see me working with him. We're working Don't on we, some we, shit. We're going to get something popping. Actually, we're going to get something popping tomorrow. I'm going to start sending them some beats, and we're going to make it happen. Man. Big plantation. No, no, chill. All right. All right.